Today, we are going to be talking about the six mindsets for an abundant life. Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Mindset Monday. I'm Susan Johnson, and I'm here with you, oh, goodness, for a couple of years now on this Monday morning Agent Power Huddles, and I'm super excited to be here once again. And today, I'm trying to get my screen here so I can see everybody. Please log on, your put, put your computers on if we can see you. That would be awesome. And uh I'm just going to go ahead and go right into everything this morning. So what a way to launch our week with high energy inspiration. And today we are going to be talking about the six mindsets for an abundant life. Six mindsets. There's very specific ones that are really going to help you not only just with your meaning of life, your happiness, and also your success. So today we're going to get into those six mindsets. And quite frankly, these mindsets are actually based on a multi-year research I've got some notes here because I I wrote this a long time ago from a book I read. I wish I remembered the book because I would definitely be holding it up for you now. We're talking to you and giving you the title, but hopefully you'll take some copious notes today on these six mindsets is based on a multi-year research into the happiest and most successful people that have ever lived. And these six mindsets, they're really based on the premise that Success depends less on really what a person knows and really more about how a person is thinking. And does that fit this Mindset Monday, right? So keep in mind that your motivation and your mindsets provide you with resilience. They provide you with motivation and your meaning of life and how you implement and act every single day. So by making small shifts in these kinds of mindsets, um, you know, it's going to help really give you some sustainable transformation as you continue your growth in your business and your personal life, every area. The six mindsets actually teach us things like dreaming bigger. When you dream bigger, you're going to increase expectations. You're going to have much more optimistic view um, of what your future is going to look like. They're going to help you develop more positive relationships, having these kind of mindsets, help you with any personal professional goals. They're going to help you take 100% responsibility that for your decisions and the things that you choose every single day to move forward in your life, to get gain, uh, you know, more meaningful relationships, and of course, um, get the results that you really want, taking that 100% accountability. These mindsets, they're going to help you really appreciate what you currently have, what you already have in your life, so that you don't just kind of shovel those away and not acknowledge all of your great blessings. These mindsets also help you embrace, you know, connectivity, help you embrace and, um, you know, meaningful relationships and knowing the importance of plugging into, you know, those around you to help support you and your growth and for you to actually in turn turn around and help them with theirs as well. It also helps you to design a life plan. These, these mindsets are going to put you and shift you into this um, growth plan. And we actually use these mindsets when we, we do our growth plan along with our business plan. So it really helps you kind of step one step at a time and really design a life so that you can really create the very most and get the most meaning and most success of everything you do. So that was a lot little of an intro there, but let's dive in. There's six mindsets that I was just telling you about. The first set, the mindset, the mindset number one is really just understanding that everything is possible. Everything is possible. When you dream big, you embrace the creativity and you expect great results. I'm going to say that again, dream big, embrace creativity and expect great results. So many of us will go into something and you get super excited about a goal you've got, but you've got this little doubt, that little that little fear, and that's what holds people back. We did an episode on that a couple of weeks ago about what's holding you back. So just remember that, you know, you want to expect the results. Vision yourself into stepping into it and having it already happen. Expect the success. Don't expect, oh my gosh, the failure. Things might happen along the way, but expect that success. 
Dreaming big is about increasing those expectations, raising your standards so that, like I said, you're seeing yourself as a positive in the end. If you notice, if you've been in any kind of coaching, when you role play, for example, you're doing scripts and dialogues and that kind of thing, you always role play with a positive setting the appointment end result. That's where you want to go with this. Everything is possible. See it as the positive, as it working out in the end. When you do this, your future becomes infinitely bigger and brighter. Okay. Thinking positive is not just, um, well, thinking positive is obviously very important, but, you know, some people say, well, you know, you can't just always be thinking, you know, roses all and rainbows all the time. And yet it makes a big difference, like I said, on the expectations and the result you get. The next part of the everything is possible, though, is the act and adjust. So what happens is as you move forward in this first mindset, everything is possible. Dreaming big, setting your expectations, raising those standards. You just understand that it's like ships moving along and navigating. You need to act, take massive action, do something. It's not going to happen just as a dream. You've got to implement, take massive action. And when you take the action along the course, you might have to make some adjustments. Okay, that's not a failure. That's just course correcting along the way. So understand that that is part of everything is possible. You're just going to understand that you may have to take action, of course, and make adjustments along the way. All right. So that's mindset number one. But mindset number two now, as we lead into that, this drives that mindset number one as well. And that's called passion. Passion first. So having the mindset number two of passion because you need to always understand that you've got to be pursuing your authentic talents in your deepest interests authentic talents and deepest interests now why is that so important well shoot you know you can go along the way and just do things because of the money because of money right but when you chase money you're not usually happy all right. I have always believed and it's been proven over many, many years for myself and many others that I know that when you follow your passion and you actually execute on the highest level you can and you're possible of doing, money will follow. Money will show up for you. Because you're doing something you love, the money will come. Focus on that passion. When you focus on the passion, you're being authentic. When you're being authentic, that's going to fuel that energy, that drive within you. It's going to fuel it, okay? And it'll keep moving you forward. That's why that passion is so critically important because along the way, you know you're going to have it's the challenges, right? If you're going with passion, you're following the passion, you're going to be able to overcome those challenges so much easier, because you're doing something that you know you actually love. It's something you enjoy. But at the same time, you're going to have the, um, the energy to sustain and to push you through. You're going to have that because it'll fuel you. You're going to focus on your strengths. So it's part of your passion, focusing on those strengths. Because remember, you want to always build that muscle. So even though you can be very strong in one area, you want to continue to improve upon that. So you can continue to raise that lid so that you can continue to go in your growth. Sometimes it might even take you down a road of exploring some of their interests that you may not have even known you had. You're in your passion. You're in your zone. But you're like, you know what? There's a whole other area here, much like this podcast, much like these agent power huddles. I love speaking. I love going and teaching and educating. And I've always done that live and in classrooms. But a couple of years ago when we launched Agent Power Huddle, for example, well, now we're going into a new venue, into a new area, onto you know, the, the podcasts and the and the Zoom calls and that kind of thing. And it just takes you to a whole nother level of your following your passion. So hopefully this is coming through to you if you're listening on podcasts or if you're even on one of these Zoom or YouTube calls. So no matter what your dream is, you're going to have challenges. Just continue to fuel it with your passion and you will be able to break through. Okay. Why is it number three? Mindset number three has to do with connection. You know, it's no fun to be on your own island. And I know some some people that are even introvert in a way. There are some people that are introvert. They're like, you know what? I just like to work by myself. And you know what? Here's my best advice to you. 
is that no one succeeds alone. No one succeeds alone. And so understand that, you know, believe it or not, as outgoing as I am, I'm also introverted in some way. I do like my private time. I do like some quiet time that I can just focus and shut everybody else out and keep those blinders on. But connection, connection is going to fuel and it's also going to help you grow. Because I mentioned this on, if you've listened to many of my other um, agent power huddles, about an exercise how when one person we had a leadership group standing around a table and we were looking at a problem solving and we were looking at it in one way because you're standing on one side of the table but then after a while after we thought we figured out how to solve the problem then the they said okay everybody shift to the next angle of the table and when you turn to another angle you could see something in a whole different way and that's what connections will do. Connections are going to help you um, grow. It's going to help you give back because maybe somebody else might be having a challenge that you saw it one way and they saw it another way. And now you can bring it together and say, oh, my gosh, by doing this, you can actually go to a whole nother level. Am I making any sense? I hope I am. Connections also help you um, give back. because It's not just all about taking in. That's all about me, me, me. It's about giving back. And when you give back, you're going to learn, too, that that connection of serving is going to also help you grow. So connection and mindset number three is all about connecting with other people. It's about not only gaining value, but giving value. Keep that in mind. When I teach classes, I always say, oh, my gosh, you know, I'm learning just as much, if not more, than everybody in the classroom. And a lot of, one of the things I like about the live classes is the feedback, because we do a lot of back and forth feedback. And, and like I said, it, it becomes really a, a teaching class, but also more of a mastermind. And that goes into connection. Okay, let's move on to mindset number four. Mindset number four, this has to do with being 100% accountable. 100% accountable. Look, folks, you can... Um, <sighs> Nobody, nobody can be more responsible. You are responsible for your success. Bottom line, end of story. Everything rises and falls on leadership, your leadership, your leadership of your own life, your leadership of your team. Everything rises and falls on leadership. And being 100% accountable means you are going to choose to take responsibility. It's not on, even if you're part of somebody else's team, you're still choosing. You are still 100% accountable. Because a leader can lead you and then the, you know, being on the team, you still have to take what? Your massive action to be 100% accountable. It happens every level, every level. Choose to be responsible for your own happiness and success. The moment you are relying on somebody else, you're making a big mistake. Big. Remember, connectivity is one thing. Giving, taking, adding value, you know, that kind of thing. Moving into 100% accountability means that is you choosing to take responsibility for your actions and your choices. Actions and choices. And by the way, those are two separate, all agent power metal topics that we do. We can do topics on every one of these individually. But 100% accountability teaches us that we're not victims of our past. This is one of the things I love about 100% accountability. We're not victims of our past. Yeah, I said that twice. Sometimes I'll say it three and four times. We're not victims of our past. Um, our future is not predetermined either. What we have, folks, is we have what's here in the present. We have right now. So yesterday really doesn't matter. Okay? It just doesn't. You know, you've learned a lot. You're going to take that. You're going to grow with it. You learned lessons in the past, but now you're going to move forward and your, pre, your life is not already predetermined. So understanding and having that in your tool belt, if you will. Remember that if you've made mistakes along the way, you're doing some force of correcting, that kind of thing. Even with your great successes, there's always another level, right? So focus you know, on that. Focus on your moving forward. What tends to happen is people focus on the fear. Oh my gosh, what if this doesn't work out? Oh my gosh. I don't have any more time. You do have time. We all have the same amount of time in a day, right? It's what you choose 
to do with it. If you're 100% accountable of what your choices are going to be, your results will show up, period. Okay, take that massive action towards the steps that you know are going to move you forward. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to be saying, I'm going to go find the sunset and run, 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 fast, 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 take massive action to run, 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 find that sunset, and you're running east. There's where the course correction comes into play, right? Make sure you're taking actionable steps and you're taking 100% accountability for whatever you have to do to gain the results you're looking for. And I'm talking business, I'm talking personal, everything in your life, relationships, doesn't matter what it is. Be accountable. All right. Sometimes also in being accountable, it requires you to do something which is called overcoming your limiting beliefs. Another episode on Agent Power Huddle. Surprise, surprise, right? Overcoming your limiting beliefs because you're going to find out that that's where the roadblocks start to show up. When you start saying, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And as you're doing this, 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 and this, all of a sudden you've got the drunk monkeys, they call them, that come in. And, oh my gosh, well, I can do that tomorrow. This just came up and this is more important. And all of a sudden you're, you're starting to get off course. It happens to all of us. It happens to all of us. So remember, when you have those limiting beliefs and those things, those drunk monkeys that come in, you've got to stop, pause, and break through by creating another belief and knocking that, that negative limiting belief out of the way. I can get more specific in that, but listen to the episode on it limiting beliefs and you'll know what I mean by breaking those limiting beliefs down so that it doesn't halt you in your path for your growth because believe me it can show up like that the thing about these agent power huddles that I love and guys I know sometimes I sound like a broken record because I'll I'll bring up certain but they all tie together everything is so important that just threads together and you know the things that happen is you know we um we tend to trip over a limiting belief and then we say oh god you know and it'll start to take us down this this negative spiral well the nice thing i was about to say about all these agent power huddles is it puts the awareness in front of you that's really what it is so repetition and awareness so even though i repeat a lot of these things on different agent power huddles you probably hear other hosts do the same remember if you don't hear these things one time you don't practice them one time it's over and over and over again and it, like i said in building that muscle it's something that once you get in the habit of recognizing and being aware of these limiting beliefs as they show up you can knock them down much faster much quicker to break through those so that's about being 100 percent accountable and you know as you do that what happens your energy will increase your energy increases a lot more because all of a sudden you're going oh my gosh i just did that i Last week or, or, you know, or yesterday, I was thinking, you know, I had all these reasons and, you know, that I was not able to do something. But once I actually took action and did it, your confidence is building out, right? You're knocking down that limiting belief. You're becoming 100% accountable, which forms right into your integrity, doesn't it? That's what I'm getting at here. Take that, that mental, that, that mindset number four of 100% accountability. Mindset number five, I love, it's an attitude of gratitude. You know, don't take this lightly because I'll tell you, the moment you find, you know, something is feeling a little out of sorts, the first thing you want to do is give back. The first thing you want to do is start taking taking notice of the grat of things you're gracious for what do you have in your life that you're is of abundance what do you what are the relationships that you have with your family and friends and you know or maybe your business is you know your business is thriving right business is thriving right now put your set in the mindset but guess what you are running so much on that 24 7 treadmill that your relationship at home is starting to fracture folks that is not a success See how you, you can be gracious of one thing, be, have gratitude for the relationships at home and start focusing on that. Focus on that. I'll use myself as an example on that. Um, just last week, we were, gonna, we were supposed to go to a river trip for a couple of days. 
And I am thrilled right now because my own business is in heavy momentum. We're really just killing it right now. Thankful. Thank to God. Thank for everybody that works so hard that we are really doing great right now. And our business is just moving and shaking. And it would have been so easy. I almost canceled that river trip. I almost did it. And I thought, you know what? No, no, this is my time with my husband. This is time with my close friends. We have planned this. I'm going. And you know what? Business is still booming. People are still there. I handled things and, and it was great. So my, my advice to you here in, in gratitude is making sure that you look in every area. Don't just say, wow, I'm so thankful for my thriving business and turn away and not acknowledge what's happening at home. Or vice versa, you have a fabulous life at home. But guess what? Sometimes you have to even say, even though your family and friends and you, they all want you with them, if you're not focusing on your business and what's important for your business, you know, your business and the, the money, I'll say, or the growth of your business and the success, that feeds your family. It moves your lives. It all goes together. Okay. Attitude of gratitude, if you're focusing on the things that are negative or what you don't have, it's a downward spiral. Um, another example I use for this, we've, we're coming into mindset six now, so we'll be right on time. Another example I like to put, um, and so you can maybe relate, I'll never remember, forget when, when I was with my, my father, he passed away several years ago, but with my father, when there's four kids in our family and he lived back east and we went to go visit them, but only three of us were able to go see him. So there's only three of us there. I think my sister Linda was the only one that was not able to go to this trip. In any case, here we are with our father having this wonderful time, but all he kept dwelling on was the fact that Linda wasn't there. You know, instead of enjoying the three that he had, yes, it was a shame. It was too bad. She couldn't make that trip. But I'll tell you, it was like, you know, constant negativity from him that Linda wasn't there. And it wasn't enough that we were all there. Keep that in mind. Kids, your grandkids, your, your parents, whomever. All right. Mindset number six. This one is very important, too. The time is now. This is mindset number six. The time is now. Okay. Why is that so important? Oh, I'll get to it tomorrow. Someday. Someday. Someday when I have more money. Someday when I have more time. Someday when my kids are older. You know, someday never shows up, guys. Someday it just doesn't. The time is now. Harness that power of now, making it happen. Massive action, massive purposeful action. Okay, the time is now mindset teaches us that the power exists in the moment. The power exists in the moment, what you make of it. Okay, yeah, I pause purposefully in some of this because I do tend to talk fast and yet, I really want to drive home some of these really important points to you. And hopefully you're getting this through the podcast, through the screen, through the YouTube. We can't change the past and the future hasn't happened yet. The only thing we can do is take purposeful action in the present and in creating the life of the dreams that we want to make happen. So get in the zone. That's another thing I like to talk about in the time is now getting in your zone. Have you ever seen that or you know, within yourself or have you noticed that maybe one of your team members or, you know, that all of a sudden, you know, they have been taking action. They've been doing and the, the purposeful things that you've laid out in your plan and you start to get results. And now you start seeing, like I said, they're holding themselves higher. They're sitting taller in their chair. They're standing taller. They're walking with a more brisk pace. They've got that confidence going through because they're, they're in their zone. And things are happening because of that. So in the time is now, think purposeful, massive action now. That's going to shift it all. It's going to shift things for you. And you're going to notice that. You're going to do better. You're going to figure out you're going to be a much better mindset. It'll break through. You're going to act with purpose and you're going to gain those results you really want in every area of your life. Exercise. If you're not exercising, stop walking. You can start running. Take a walk around your block. Take a, you know, take a hike. Listen to the Agent Power Hut a lot of podcasts and walk. Okay? Do something that's going to get you moving. 
that moving creates the momentum, increases the energy. Do it now, not tomorrow, not someday. Pick up something new and different if you have it. We started playing pickleball again, getting moving, doing something different, creating that energy. We're going to wrap this up today with kind of how I open. Success depends less on what a person knows and more significantly about what a person thinks. So remember these mindsets. Listen to this again and take that massive perfect, purposeful action over and over again with these six powerful, powerful mindsets that will create the abundance, the happiness, and success you're looking for. That's our Agent Power Huddle, everybody, this week with Mindset Monday. Go after it. Go after those goals and enjoy an amazing, abundant 4th of July. Be safe out there. Great having you with us today. Have a great week. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.